Hey there. So a little bit ago, I was working with Google Scholar and the um, Mendeley web interface. I keep calling it a plugin. It's actually an extension for Google Chrome. So there I said it. I got it right this time. So working with this extension, what I did in Google Scholar, you can see on the screen, is I was searching for massage and inflammation and getting a bunch of, uh, of returns here, a bunch of references, and then finding some of them over here in my Mendeley uh, web importer window. So um, I've, I'm logged into Mendeley over here. I'm logged, in, logged into the web version and I also have on my desktop my desktop version open. So I want to quickly go through something. It's a, a little bit of a, uh, it's actually a couple steps to make sure you get everything where you need it to go. So the first thing is to, once you've got your 54,500 results, is don't let your head pop off, um, but come on over into uh, your window here to see where um, PDFs are showing up um, and you know, kind of scrolling down. It's, it's a small window, so you kind of have to work your way through this slowly. Uh, but as you're finding um, some of these references, um, I've already uploaded some of them, let's say, you can click on them and when you see it says massage and touch, I can come up here and add references to these collections in my Mendeley. So I've really streamlined, I used to have a whole lot more collections, I've cleaned stuff up, moved it around, um, I save a lot of PDFs locally. On, on my computer, whatever I'm working on, but I've got this, this broad category of massage and touch. So that's where I can add the reference to. And then once I add it, there's this multi-step process. So what happened before is um, I added about five or six references in a previous video and I came over into desktop and I looked up recently added and it was empty. So I'm thinking, why was it empty? Well, what happens in our multi-step process here with this uh, extension is you need to save your or add your references to Mendeley on the web. So your Mendeley reference manager. So here I am. I've added them here in Massage and Touch. And so you can see I added these just a little while ago. Oh my goodness, I haven't worked on this topic in quite some time. Um, and then what I need to do is I need to go into my Mendeley desktop and hit sync. And once it synchronizes, then the web references are going to show up here. And that's what we want to happen. So it's a couple extra steps, but the beauty is that the um, references are imported. You have them here. And so whether you use Mendeley for all of your citation and research purposes, or you use it just to make sure you're tracking your articles and sorting them correctly and, and, and putting things together, um, however you use it, this is just another way to populate your library so that you don't have to um, uh, you don't have to manually name articles and, uh, and, and then find a place to house them. So that's uh, just an easy way to make sure that you're synchronizing your library. You can sync it across devices. Um, and so uh, you, know, you can have your articles wherever you want them and certainly then have some of them here on the web. So, um, so that's a really quick tour through Mendeley. Again, using uh, um, the Mendeley web, um, web extension along with Google Scholar, just to make sure you're getting your hands on some articles. So hopefully that helps you get a few more things into the files to read and happy researching.